the effort came up just short in the end. Kent shakes two defenders here. He's at point blank and off what looked like the knee of the goalkeeper, Alex Hager. Robert Morris, however, has won four in a row. It's a nice spin. The fire, the shot, that's good. It's a score first from the senior midfielder, Shane Majewski. Make it one nothing early for the Colonials. Tries to dish this all the way back to Weingarten. And he will pick it up, and here come the Bulldogs. Weingarten beats the man, fires and scores! Trevor Weingarten makes it 2-1, to one and back-to-back -back goals for the Bulldogs have given them the lead. They put themselves at the 500 mark here at Burns Stadium this year. And what a beautiful goal! Trevor Weingarten to Ryan Serino. Oh my goodness. 4-1 your score, just about six minutes to go. Only five on the shot clock. The shot and the score! It's another one for Ryan Serino. This one way up in the air and speared by Robert Morris. Almost feels like an eternity since they've last had possession and they'll capitalize on a fast break here and beat Bime four. It's Will Jonason that puts this pass by him four on a bounce shot. 15 seconds from when they won the faceoff. Make it 5-2. And we'll move it the other way. But it's picked off here by the Colonials at point blank. The shot and the score. It's another one. This time, Corson Keeley, the sophomore attack from Ottawa, Ontario, makes it 5-3. It's Popovich against the freshman Keaton Jones. Two and a half minutes left. 5-3 your score. Crashing the net in a sidearm shot. What a beautiful look from Ryan Smith there. Make it 5-4. Ryan Smith, his 30th goal of the year, he is right behind Corson Keeley, who came into the game with 36. Way of things for them. Smith wide open again, and that one's good. Ryan Smith, two quick goals to tie it up in the span of about 18 seconds here. No shot clock to worry about. Oh, but what a fire and a score. It's Matt Schmidt, who had a lot of pressure in the defense, draped all over him, and he puts the Colonials up by one. And the Robert Morris bench going crazy. This is well as here's Kemble firing away. Make it three saves for Alex Hager. Jack Toom dishing it off. Ten seconds now. One goal lead for Robert Morris. Can they expand? At point blank they do. Ryan Smith again. He gives himself a hat trick in around two and a half minutes here. Seven to five already here in only 15 minutes in. But for now, here are the Colonials. Austin Popovich. At point blank. Oh, what a pass from Popovich and a delayed hit after the score. Some beautiful work from Robert Morris. Oh, my goodness. What a pass. Looks like the score will get credited to Corson Keeley again. Of course, will. And indeed, it will be Corson Keeley on the assist from Austin Popovich. What a nice pass from Popovich. The underhand shot, and this one out of bounds. Scooping this one up and putting it over his shoulder. Oh, baby, what another great goal. It's Eddie Smith this time. 
scooped it right off the ground and one figure eight motion fired a top shelf to Kevin Bimefor and makes this one nine to six. To Smith and now right to Schmid. McCulley, the sidearm shot, and that one's good. It's Brad McCulley who enters the stat sheet for the first time today and makes it 10 to 8. Ryan Smith going hard against Jack Horan. He'll dish it out instead. McCulley dishes to Gibson now. Gibson against Keaton Jones, who's locking him down. 10 seconds on the shot clock now. The pass with. Only a second or two to go on the shot clock and a score there. A beautiful shot to the top left. And now dishing is Callahan. Callahan firing his bulge speared out of the air is Alex Hager. Colonials moving quick at point blank range. A bounce shot and another score for Robert Morris. It's Corson Keeley, his third of the game. Two Colonials have... Hat tricks today already. And the face off here won by Robert Morris. Tyson Gibson going strong to the net. And he scores. Tyson Gibson, his first goal of the game. And it's 13 to nine. Some nice work by the Colonials of really sprinting down the field, putting a lot of pressure on there and caught Bimefor off guard to his right. Bonayudo fires and scores. Jake Bonayudo makes this one 13 to 10. Here's McCulley, finds a little bit of room. And he goes right down low on Bimefor. McCulley, his second goal of the game. And now it's 14 10. Burgess now. And this one no good, picked up by Zach Coffey, sprinting down the field. He's got a lot of momentum. Fires away as a long stick, and that one good. Zach Coffey. Oh, and a beautiful hard shot from Matt Schmidt there. As the Colonials counter with one of their own 15 to 11. Gibson, another assist for him on the day. Gibson assisted on goal number one. They'll host the Brown Bears on Tuesday here at Berman Stadium. Here's Ryan Smith. He'll dish. And another great score there is Brad McCulley, his third of the game. So get your hats out. It's 16 to 12. Beginning of the game here. He's ripping away again. It's McCulley. Four of this, essentially what were, have been the same goals. All underhand, all on the left side. And Bimefor really having trouble defending McCulley today as that's his fourth goal. And now Marco Rourke. Looking for help. Here's Serino. He's hungry for his fifth and he got it. Ryan Serino is five goals on the day. Are the Bulldogs from Beeson? He can't find anything either. Bulldogs have to hurry up. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Nice pass and a score. It's Ryan Serino back again. Oh, my goodness. 20 seconds on the shot clock now. Here's Popovich. Winds up. McCulley again and... Bimefor's got no answer for McCulley today. It's 18-15. Brad McCulley, his 13th goal of the year, puts Robert Morris back up by three. Twenty-five seconds on the shot clock. Here's Popovich. Gibson now. At point blank range, and it's a score from Corson Keeley. And now 19 15. Bulldogs defense blue. 
A couple of coverages there. Tyson Gibson. And then Brian Kaufman as well. And on an empty net, Taggart Clark, the freshman, will put this one in. Now to his right is Weingarten. The jump shot off the knee of Hager. That one must hurt as this one is picked up by the Colonials. Specifically, it's Kieran Costello. As it's Robert Moore's possession, they will just huck it up all the way down the field. The horn sounds, and the Colonials are the victors here in Smithfield today by a score of 20-16. to 16.